It's the Lord Brax from Boomy. I've been hearing rumors that uh, Lance has a advantage over Scythe. Yeah. And so that might be one of the biggest reasons why Boomy was showing off that Brax earlier. He's trying to get it warmed up for his matchup against Sandstorm. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say we aren't going to see the same Lance against Sandstorm no, that we saw against Wilson. He's going to play like actual, six. he's going to be an actual Lance player, yeah. not a, a heavy button player. There was a nice dash neutral signature yeah. though, right off that platform. Well, for the down signature, but the platform was moving up, so goes above Sandstorm's head. Charging that up, Sandstorm able to get the punish from above with the down air. Not much more than that. The side Now, he dashed forward so that he could, quote, like slide charge that, but he held right, so he was able to direct that off of the soft platform onto the hard platform and continue that movement forward. Ooh. So he was able to really extend that range. Close on that soft platform, that reversal SIG is going to be absolutely deadly. And we could see Boomy just focus on playing on that soft platform because he does have that turnaround option with the down signature. You see him kind of staying mostly to the left side of the main platform or on that soft platform yep. on the left. He's not spending a lot of time on the right. I mean, the left side is arguably that safer side of the main stage because it has that soft platform to your back, whereas the right side, there's nothing there. There is no safety net if you get knocked back. So uh, having your back to the left side, generally a little bit safer. Good movement from Boomy. Got around Sandstorm. Did not get taken out. In fact, he is still living on this low defense. Frax, the side air. Not going to. Sandstorm coming in with his gauntlets here, which we've seen even more from today than we saw at the World Championships. But he's going to go back to the scythe here. Nice Ooh, dare. is oh, Boomy going to go unarmed off stage against Sandstorm scythe? That is bold. And come out on top? Yeah, he got good damage out of that one. The unarmed play. Really putting in some damage on the Sandstorm. But Sandstorm bringing out the scythe. Oh, this is Stand scary. This is scary. The map, the stairs. Boomy immediately daring to come back down. Sandstorm did not have enough movement to keep that pressure going. No GC in SIG and nope. no GC side SIG there. Let me burn in the dodge. Ooh, there's the dash jump pivot ground pound. We actually haven't really seen that very much in his sets today from him. Like, I don't think he did that very much against Noel, did he? Not really, I don't think so. He's really been holding those back. Again, goes for it. Boomy able to punish. Punishes from above, charging up that down signature. Both players in the red on their second stock right now. Nice side air. Yeah, Tries to follow it up with a second platform. one that probably would have killed. Tries to go for the neutral signature, trying to find Ooh. these. Yeah, Sandstorm was not expecting that to reach as far as he did. He thought he had outspaced it, but ended up getting caught by that, that final blast and uh, losing that stock. Down sick, yep. Boomy had the option to pick up that weapon, like, basically immediately, but he actually backdashed he first, yeah. Down like gonna get punished, but Sandstorm's move is going to drop. Boomy then with the counter punish. There's the D-Light, picks up the recovery. Not gonna be quite Trying enough. Up. I think even other characters would not have killed there. It wasn't just the uh, lower Brax strength right. that Brax has. There's the D-Light into the recovery. Still not in red quite yet. If he got it off the soft platform, could be killer. All right, Sandstorm needs some big stuff from the Scythe. Has to get some good damage. Gonna try to keep booming on that right side. Oh, but the side stick from behind and Sandstorm goes down. Game. Two, we'll see if he opts for that as we get right on into game two. Boomy sticking with the Vrax. Going unarmed again, trying to get that unarmed Gimp. Trying to repeat what he did to Dobrain earlier today. Recoveries from Sandstorm. Throws away the weapon. Almost completely zoning Boomy out for a long time. You saw the weapon throw come out from Sandstorm. I was expecting him to immediately get back down yeah, to that I weapon. He to deny. Yeah, but Boomy was able to hit him out of the way and pick up the weapon. Nice neutral signature doing a tremendous amount of damage. I can't remember how much it is now. I think it's like 27, and it used to be like 34, and before that was like 37. Like, it still does a lot. That's still one of my favorite things to open up a ranked match oh, with nice is follow up. NSYNC, GC, NSYNC, because you just put them in such a terrible spot in terms of damage. Forward kicks from Boomy. He's kind of shoving Sandstorm around. But Sandstorm, oh, can't quite follow up off the bounce with that down air. Was not able to get low enough. Ooh. Yeah, you saw him go for it. Boomy's ready for that neutral item and neutral signature. Nice final blast. The final blast from that's like actually really does reach up quite vertically. See 
Pumi. Oh, oh. oh there's again. Yeah. Him slide charging that and holding a direction to steer that as far as he possibly can. Almost picks that up. Doesn't quite hold it long enough. He's got to be careful on the edge. See the side air coming out. Sandstorm's going to dodge that. Tries to go for the side signature. Just a little bit too much startup. Doesn't have it quite early enough. That's a Neutral six. sig's the wrong no, way. That's a six coming out from Boomy. Turn around. Neutral air from Sandstorm. And in Boomy that meantime, Sandstorm has put out quite a bit of yeah. damage. He has Boomy in the orange right now. He's keeping it going. Nice side light into the nair coming out from Boomy, but he needs to find the kill options at this point. Tries to go for the neutral signature. Sandstorm just a little bit too wide. Back to back three. Wow. He gets punished immediately. Sandstorm almost making this lead into two stocks at this point. There's the Sissa Grand Finals. Boomy came from the loser's bracket, so he's going to have to win two best of fives against Sandstorm. That is Sandstorm's sort of reward, his prize, for not dipping down into the loser's bracket at all during this tournament. He has the option to lose a set, which theoretically dips him down into the loser's bracket, and then they fight the final set. So Boomy has a lot of games to continue to play if he wants to take this tournament. Left side, Boomy has no opportunities to come up. Sandstorm actually going off stage, not able to get any damage out, but he still has this extra stock. He can go wild if he wants to on in the off stage on the left side. Ground pound connects for Boomy. Now it's back to the Lance. Yes, Sandstorm in the later stages of yellow right now, hitting a D sig in the middle of the stage won't kill quite at this point. Wow, able to get a neutral signature out of that one. Goes for the That's side true. signature. Really? That's oh true yeah, combo, yeah. yeah. That's Touched. Sandstorm going back and forth between the main platform and the island. Nice down light. I'm surprised that that picked up. Sandstorm dipped up, up Ooh. enough above on that side wall of the island. There's the side air. Sandstorm, you see him positioning for nice. the edge guard. Gets a nice nair. Yeah, I think he was he was waiting to maybe see if Boomy was going to start charging up that recovery. Yeah, he, was, he was definitely trying to stay underneath it. The down air actually beating out Sandstorm. The side oh, air. that saved Sandstorm. Sandstorm. Oh, Sandstorm has... Almost saved him. It really yeah. just delayed the inevitable, but Boomy isn't if he was kill a little more right to the left, yep. gone up. Still a wonderful attempt coming out, and there's going to be both have, of course, Creed being Boomy's coach, and that might lead into this character swap, uh, saying, okay, Ooh. don't play the Diana, Ooh. and because Lance might have a favorable matchup in the site that you should, then choose Vrax. So what is it, you, you play Lance way more than I do. What is it about the Lance that is working so well for Boomy in this matchup against Sight? Uh, Nair's real good. Like, Nair, oh, he almost picks that up. Nair is an amazing tool. Downlight is an amazing wow. tool for, for how close Sandstorm is with Boomy when he wants to attack. Like, he's not using a lot of downlights, uh, probably because it puts you in a ton of recovery frames. So it's not yeah. as extra lights, sometimes side lights. So he's relatively close to Boomy. So you have the downlight as your defensive get off me option and actually does a pretty solid amount of damage. Um, you also have the in light follow up off of that um, coming in with this Vrax pick as well. Of course, the uh, signature kit is very strong on Vrax's Lance. And if you're able to position really well, I mean, we've seen Koslix do so well with his spacing oh in the past. Gosh. Beautiful dare. He gets the hit, yeah. Chase dodges up. Boomy showing that he still has some skills with the offstage Lance working out for him. Ooh, side airing away from the platform. Worried about Sansom going for that dash down. Ooh, Round triple three nares. Nares. Side light poke. Waits just a minute. You're going to see that typical Boomy gun spacing where he likes to poke and play that footsie oh. game with that blaster side light. He thought he picked up the, the blasters, went for a uh, dash dancing and ended up getting a uh, dash disco because he didn't pick up the, the blasters. Ooh, he's just waiting to punish that landing from Sandstorm. Yeah. He's not going to commit to any aerial attacks. He has Sandstorm and kill percent, so he wants to find the big punish. Utilize maybe a, a, a higher variable force move. Ooh. Yo. Okay. Uh, ended up get, uh, getting punished for it, but still. Huge lead for Boomy. And we are seeing these games stretch longer yeah, and longer. We're two and a half minutes into this game before Sandstorm was able to take off Boomy's first stock on a lower defense character. Boomy definitely getting the better of it here as he is a full stock up on Sandstorm at this point. Oh, 
Oh, nice turnaround, Groudon. He's another one. That's a oh, chase dodge. Oh, not quite enough. Yeah, he... It gives you a chase dodge, but you yeah. saw right there, it wasn't enough. It didn't cover enough space for Boomy to get back. If he would have been able to charge that recovery and move along that trajectory unhindered, he would have been able to get back. And now, just like that, I mean, we see a dead even game. It took less than a minute for Sandstorm to take off that second stock where it took two and a half minutes for the first stock. Ooh, that, that could be a big commitment yeah. here. Ooh, Sandstorm's going to respect the offstage game. You see him immediately go back onto the main platform. Again, Sandstorm going for that weapon toss, but Boomy going right underneath it. Neutral air sends him off. Sandstorm is really respecting Boomy's offstage lance. Almost hit that down light, but nice Sandstorm recoveries. didn't land. Even if you come out with this unorthodox thing, it is only a matter of time. In a best of five setting, that Sandstorm will figure it out. And that's the thing is, if you start doing this uh, this new pick out of left field, it depends on how much time you've had. So there might not be, like, there's definitely not as much depth to Boomy's Brax as there is to Diana. Yeah, He's just spent way more time on the Diana. So that's less that Sandstorm has to download in the same amount of time. A smaller package. Nice down air spike from Boomy. Turn around, ground pound, and his Diana blasters are so different from his Frax blasters. Yeah, like I don't understand that. On a completely different level. And I can't even explain it because for me, Diana's blasters feel better than Brax's, which uh, it truly, uh, statistically, doesn't make any sense. Because Brax has the higher decks, so his That's recovery insane. on miss yeah. is going to be better than Diana's. Like, it truly doesn't make sense to me, but Diana has my favorite blasters, not even just signature, like, favorite light attack kit, and it truly makes no sense. It's probably all mental. Great Nair from Sandstorm. Not able to keep the pressure, though. Back to the bow, big punish from Boomy. Here comes the side airs. Oh, Sandstorm going for a side air, but he's still got plenty of those. An unlimited supply of uh, Gauntlet side airs. And Boomy looking like he might possibly stretch this into a full yeah. two stock lead here in grand finals against the world champion Sandstorm. Oh, nice okay. falling side yeah. air though. In this best of five set, if he's able to shrink this lead down, if he's able to take this game, he will take final round 2019 in singles. Won't even need the bracket reset. He'll be able to take that home with a 3-1. Still need to win two more games in order to get that second set. Second set, But Boomy's got the two-stock advantage over Sandstorm's one. Gauntlet's in hand for Sandstorm. Gauntlet's, he needs to get stacked onto Boomy. He just does not have the range against the, the Blasters kit that Boomy has. Boomy knows it. He is using these long-range attacks, that sidelight poking over the corner. And he's not going to go off stage. He knows Absolutely that not. that is a very possible misstep against Gauntlets and definitely against Sandstorm's Gauntlets. It is so risky. Like, you saw how Wilson was able, with two nares when Boomy was in orange, took out his stock. over the icicles. Nice follow-up side air. Weapon toss, but the wake-up recovery from Sandstorm gets him back up safely. Boomy wanting to tie up the set. There's the neutral light. Is going to get the follow-up. The gravity cancel neutral light not quite having enough range. There's the recovery. Right. That's going to kill. Boomy tying up the set 2 two from the end of last matches. year where Boomy did play this Diana against him. And we're actually going to shipwreck. This is... Is this one of the first shipwrecks? No, it's, it's, this is not the first shipwreck that we've seen in top eight today. Uh, but it is going to have those really tiny sidewalls and a very high ceiling. So it might take a little bit longer for Boomy to find those recovery kills off the top. Yeah, so no surprise to see that Sandstorm wants to lean towards this map. Because if he can keep Boomy off the stage, then uh, he'll have that advantage to go for those gimps. Yeah, you see the side air. Only has to cover that small wall, but Boomy able to get past him. Ooh, oh, that reaches like, that covers yeah. probably 40 to 50% of the entire recover area on that vertical wall. That is so scary to become the final round champion. Sandstorm playing very careful. He's looking for these two hit, three hit resets. Now he's starting nice to go for a little bit.
Weapon Toss Wars. Sandstorm able to retain the weapon control. Umi has that bow. Now you see the neutral signature immediately come out expecting uh, a little bit lower high recovery coming out from Sandstorm. Nice recovery right over that corner. Neutral Juggling just a little bit with that neutral light. Right on the edge. Again, a recovery Again, right yeah. over that corner. If Sandstorm wants to sit there. That's a punish. Oh, that's going to be a death. Boxing, but it locks you down and Sandstorm gets a big punish behind it. And who knows how much of a bait that the two recoveries that Boomy picked up were. Because Sandstorm was just like sitting over there on the corner. He was like, yeah, just hit me. Yeah, just hit me again. Okay, this time I'm immediately going to throw out that signature. You're going to fall. It's going to be a big dunk. Unzig goes for the up punish. throw. Yeah, didn't have the positioning for that downward toss. Boomy's got to be very careful. Oh, He's no. possibly on tournament yeah. stock right here. He is in kill percent. Side Sandstorm line. taking Covering. this, and he is going to. He's continuing that land win streak, taking it in game five. 